All right, what is going on everybody? Today, I got a little lineup of Canon FD lenses right here. I'm gonna be converting them to EF mount and kind of cine modding them. So as you can see right here, I have the 24 millimeter F2, amazing little lens. I've got the 35 mil F2, the 50 mil F1.4 right there, and the 85 mil F1.8. Now, I already converted the 50 and the 85 to EF mount, and I also de-clicked the aperture, as you guys can see there. Hopefully you can see that. I'll show it to the top down, you see that? Ooh, buttery smooth. I also added follow focus gears and cinema step up rings with an 80 millimeter outer diameter, so you can use these with a matte box, and the internal filter thread is 77 millimeters, so you can use screw on 77 mil filters. So since I already did the 50 and the 85, we can move these aside. But right here, we have the 24 and the 35. I'm gonna be converting these using these two 3D printed EF lens mounts in a tech deck tool because I don't have a screwdriver that small. And I found this tech deck tool in my house from when I was younger. And it just so happens to work perfectly, so don't judge me. So you can get these 3D printed EF mounts off of this website called Shapeways. Uh, I'll leave a link below to where you can get these if you guys want to do this. But these specific FD to EF adapters only work for the Canon FDN lens mount. So as you can see with this one, uh, it has this silver button on the side. These aren't the breech lock FD lenses, but um, you can convert those. I just don't exactly know how. And I have these lenses, so it just so happens to work out for me. Let's move this stuff off to the side. I got my tech deck tool right here. And then this little tiny piece, as you guys can see, I'm just gonna leave it right there. I'll just digital zoom on it or something. I don't know, whatever. But there's this little tiny piece right here that controls the aperture mechanism inside of the lens, which you'll see how that happens. So right here, I have a video pulled up uh, on how to convert the FD to the EF mount. I'm just gonna play it because I don't wanna fuck this up. All right, so I got my tech deck tool ready to go. And the first thing to do is remove three screws on the side of this kind of mount right here, I guess. That's what it says in the video. All right, so let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Some of these screws are so tight in here. Oh, dude, this one's already stripped. God dang it. These screws are so, have been in here for so long. It's like, they're not coming out. This is the tough thing about this. And I mean, it doesn't help that I'm using a freaking tech deck tool. I don't think I can do this with this tool. I used it for the two other ones. That's the thing, dude. And it worked. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that, dude. This one works perfectly. And it comes right out. All right, you guys. So I was having a little bit of trouble with the 24 mil. The screws on the 24 millimeter that I'm taking out right here on this 35 millimeter, uh, they were just kind of stuck in there and I can't get them out with this specific tool. I mean, maybe if I wasn't using a tech deck tool, you know, I'd be able to get it out with like a normal screwdriver. But for the time being, I'm going to show you on this 35 mil because these screws came right out. No problem. Just like the other two lenses I have. So now that these screws are out, the next step is to kind of pop this metal thing off. Right. All right. So now we got to pop this little silver piece out. You guys are probably like, dude, get a screwdriver. What are you doing, you dunce? But hey, whatever gets the job done, right? All right, so I got this silver ring out now. The next thing he says to do is to turn this aperture ring until you hear it click and you gotta turn it clockwise. Is that what you said? There's the click right there. Now we can take this All right, so now I gotta take out these screws right here. One, two, and three. Got my handy dandy tech deck tool. Oh, these screws just loosen right up. Perfect for me. Now it's important, he says, to remember where these three screws came from. Now they go back into their proper holes. So I'm gonna put them off to the side right here. Number two. This one right here. Oops. Number three. These pieces right here, we actually don't need these anymore. So 
I just kind of throw them away because I have no use for them. So we'll move those off to the side. But these three screws are very important. All right, so I gotta turn my aperture to F8 here. And now I can take this silver ring out. All right, so now I'm going to declick the aperture. What I have to do is turn this ring all the way to F2, right, all the way on the other side. And it clicks. And now I can pop this off just like that. And if I flip this over, there's this little ball bearing right here. And you just kind of pull this out. As you can see, I have it on my finger. You can see that. Where's the camera? Right there. We don't want that though. So now we put this back on, just like so. And now you just have to turn this ring all the way back to F22, which this is kind of the tricky part right here. You really gotta kind of finagle with it in order to get it all the way back to F22. But I think I just got it first try. Let's go, baby. All right, now I take this little piece right here, which I'll put it right down. I'll just digitally zoom in. So this piece right here, you take it and you put it into the lens to kind of grab onto the aperture mechanism. All right, so once you put that in there, uh, the lens is pretty much good to go. And now all you gotta do is line up this hole, this hole, and this hole with these three holes, put the screws back in, and you got yourself EF mount FD lens. Alright, so once I screw these last three screws in, guys, got yourself an EF FD lens. I'll tighten that one down fully once this one's in. Alright. Hey yeah, guys, if you're gonna do this, get a proper screwdriver. Don't use a tech tech tool. This is not that good. All right, and we're just about done. Let's test the aperture ring, make sure it works. And there we have it. We have declicked aperture ring right there, so you guys can see. And we now have EF mount instead of FD. So now I can just kind of slap this lens right on. Let me throw the step up ring on here. And there we have it, guys. We have a 35 millimeter F2 little cine modded FD lens. And if you guys are interested in doing this, I highly suggest following this video that I followed. This guy breaks it down super simple. Uh, he makes it super easy and he uses the same mount. That's how you get off shapeways.com. So that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, I can't do the 24 millimeter right now because the screws are kind of stripping and I don't want to use this little freaking tech deck tool. So I'm going to go get an actual screwdriver that's going to take that screw out for me and I'll be able to finish up the 24 mil. But for now, I have the 35, the 50, and the 85 all ready to go. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to give this a try, like I said, all the links will be in the description below. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good one. Peace out. Peace out overhead. All right, bye.